welcome to this tutorial on how to play James Young's version of What is Love. We are in standard tuning. There's no capo. There are bar chords, but don't worry if you're a beginner. I'm going to teach you how to play without the bar chords. So we're going to jump right into exactly how to play right off the bat here. So to start out, you are going to have your index finger on the fourth fret of the A string. One, two strings down, and one, two, three, four frets over. Your ring finger will be on the 5th fret of the B string, that's your 2nd string up, 1, 2 strings up, and on the 5th fret. So we are going to play A, B, A, B. Next we're going to slide over to our E shape, so you're going to have your index finger on the 1st fret of the G. You can fill in your E chord if you want, but the only note you need for now is this first fret on the G string which is your third string up one two three strings up E string G string E string G string so putting those two together next you're going to move your middle finger to the second fret of the G string and your index to the second fret of the low E and we're gonna again do E, G, E, G. Okay, so putting those three things together. And then finally, we're going to slide our index to the second fret of the A string. Ring finger is going to stretch all the way over to your fourth fret of your B string. And we're going to go A, B, Drop both those fingers, put your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the B string. So that part sounds like... Okay, and putting all that together, this is the verse. start over and that's all there is to it so that's how you play the verse the chorus sounds like this and then it goes to a E chord A chord B C chord back to a B okay so um, if you're a beginner <coughs> you most likely don't know how to play bar chords so I'm not going to talk about that um, I'm going to give you the short, easy ways, because if you are in a beginner, you probably already know how to play the bar chords anyway. So, what we're going to do with our fingers first here. We are going to do this. We're going to have our pinky on the 4th fret of the D string, index going to be on the 2nd fret of the low E, and your middle finger is going to be on the 2nd fret of the G string. We're going to go low E, D, G, D, G, and then we're going to go to our E shape, so you just need your index finger on the first fret of that G, and you're going to play your low E, G, and your B strings at the same time. Okay, so that sounds like this. Next we're going to go to an A chord. Our A chord, you sandwich all your fingers on the 2nd fret here. So your middle is on the 2nd fret of the D, ring fingers on the 2nd fret of the G, and your pinkies on the 2nd fret of the B. And now we're going to pick A, G, B, G, B. And then we're going to go up to our B bar chord. Okay, so the B bar chord, all you really need is your index on the 2nd fret of the A string and your ring finger and pinky on the fourth frets of the G and B strings. Okay, so let's put all that together here. So. And if you're doing it this way, you just pick the A, G, and the B simultaneously there. Next, we're gonna slide up to our C sharp minor chord here. So you're going to have your index on the 1st fret, sorry, 4th fret of the A string, 
middle on the fifth fret of the B, and your ring finger and your pinkies on the sixth fret of the G and the D strings. And we're gonna pick A, G, B, G, B, and slide back to our B chord. Okay, so all this together sounds like this. And that is how the chorus goes. So one more time. I'm gonna play it at full speed here just so you know how it sounds. And that's the chorus. And there's one last piece here which goes like this. So I go C. this the first time but then it goes to F sharp and then it goes B A okay so this is just a C5 power chord index on the fourth fret ring finger and pinky on the six frets of the D and the G we're gonna pick A and then these two together slide to your E pick your E string F those fingers down one string to your A it starts over again and that's it so there's a lot of parts there I'm very open for questions. If you have them, I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my channel. You can support me by doing that, by looking at my songwriting playlist, and also by following my new Instagram music page, which is linked on my channel. So if you could do any of those things, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you for watching.